let's just do this one quickly guys if you want a highly energetic interactive blood thirsty dopamine provoking video this is not the right channel for you just scroll just go to the next video good morning good morning good morning yes it's Beatrice Vivius Uncle Frankie Two Socks your favorite beach bar dead with your morning boardwalk beach walk yes we're starting at the boardwalk today we thought that there was gonna I thought there was gonna be a beautiful sunrise I was mistaken that that's amper intro come young ons moet op die strand kom ons kan nie so rond slimer nie Cacophony of air candy here on the boardwalk. Today we're walking the boardwalk route to get us a beautiful sunrise. To walk right into the beautiful sunrise. But it's overcast. Sorry about that guys. I'll tell you now how long it took to walk the, walk the boardwalk. Can you hear all those beautiful sounds? Everything is still dead. Seems to be low tide at the moment. There's no tidal interaction here at the boardwalk channel. All oh, our beautiful mangrove forest was killed. <laughs> I believe Andres Lumas wants to come back. And take back the management. Andrew, I've mapped your journey through Isimangali so very meticulously. I've spared you the publication of that. But I've been through, through 3.2 million rand of my children's inheritance while I was trying to publish your road your journey I need to get my money back I'm now monetized huh? yo yo let's just zoom in a little bit oh wow yay the are we in the grass and groom? Huh? Self grooming bitch. Go. Okay, the wind is pretty awkward, so I have to put on the lapel microphone. And you guys are gonna be close to my chest and hear my heavy breathing again. Now this is the reason why it sounds like my lungs is packing, packing up. To get it out of the wind, I have to get this behind the shirt. Whoa. Let's just try that again. So that has to go in there. So that's right on my lungs. It's like a doctor's stethoscope. That's why you guys hear my lungs so good. Okay, it's now on. Can you hear the difference in the sound quality? It's not what I like. 
It's the only way I can get the wind reduction to work. I've tried many before. Hard dead. Groom your lacquer. Oh, the sun is be rising beautifully. And I'm on a slow strike. Getting through these sand dunes. Got very, very, very unfit. Ladies and gentlemen, this decision was the very hubris decision. I tried to communicate with him. He shut me down like if I was a dummy. And this is what they created here. It's true, we all live on a learning curve. But there was much and many scientists that knew exactly how this works before this decision was made. And uh, as far as I remember, the Dutch was against this decision. And all the leading scientists in South Africa was against this decision. So this decision was never supposed to be made. Now we've got a working hierarchy. Um, somebody that interacts with the ministerial office on a daily or weekly basis. The Isimanglisa Wetland Park Authority, they called. And um, we now got, apparently, as far as I read between the lines, scientists that's interested in getting the estuary system to function again. They realize how important the estuary is for the planet. Uh oh We've arrived. And the launching conditions doesn't look that good today. I don't know if anybody's going to launch today. We'll have to wait and see. I just want to bring it under the attention of the current scientist investigating sediment management at St. Lucia Estuary. The reason why the water cannons didn't work is they were deployed to dig a beach channel. And every day that they that is not the function of a water cannon. The function of a water cannon is agitation. And then every day that they pumped successfully into the ocean, to the northern side of the area where they were quoted, they quoted a certain distance from the excavation where the sediment will be dumped into the ocean. Every day they did that successfully. Listen carefully now. Let me pull a Jacob Zuma on you. Every day they did that successfully. Terry Custis would come down here and increase the length of the pipe with another 100 meters. Now you can only blow a solid through a thin pipe at a certain viscosity. If you increase the length, you must in increase the viscosity of that thing that you are pumping. So eventually, they were just pumping water into the ocean. And that's why it failed. They didn't use it as what the tender process. Pardet is waiting in the anticipation for ocean commotion to arrive. I don't think they're coming today, Michael. Is Weisman going to push over there? It's a little bit shallow. this uh, prettiness and move a little bit north to get to the launch site. Wiseman has to go and get another one unstuck at the gate and uh, Stella is coming down the estuary mouth. Are you not ready to roll? Come now, man. Pass the stocky. Water is running out of the estuary. You can see the discoloration here at the gully. People are catching shad at Ingwe Beach. I think we're going to take a walk to the estuary mouth this morning. 
I don't know how far we're going to get. Let's have a look. Just a pan of the estuary mouth view. The southeasterly or southwesterly, the southerly winds has pivoted it a lot to the north again, running parallel to the beach. Pylon Bay in the distance. Getting close, but it's still far. This easterly bank is pushing hard to close the system. We had such a great opportunity to fix the problem. Oh, yeah. What for us crocodile cost for today? Huh? And they didn't want to go swim so how much sediment built up is there that little pole is almost level with the sand and it used to be 75 meters beyond the ridge into the mud standing basically on the peninsula where we used to stand when we videoed the, the hippos and look how much the sand washed into the estuarine system. It is bloody incredible how much sand washed into the estuary. I can't believe it. Mud bank here that I said is going to become a rock formation is once again closed with sediment, sea sand, ocean born sediment. And it quickens and hastens the carbonization effect from mud to rock. <laughs> a lot of people has mocked me about it to say this is going to take millions of years no 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 I don't even think it's going to take a hundred years I think in our children's lifetime this is going to be the next first rocks looking up the beach channel I see on the new scientific reports they call it the beach channel they don't call it the Flozy River I'm happy I'm happy get the terminology right, we might get the system to function again. And down the estuary mouth quickly. And then it goes turns north around that bend, turns a lot north we'll get, catch that on the way back I think by, the, by means of arrows I'm going to try and explain to you where the sediment movement is let's have a look if we can do that can we see the pole it's right Oh, it's going to be difficult to find the pole on this video. Let's just zoom in a little bit. There's the pole. Okay, let's zoom out now. Right. So that should give our arrow a pinpoint. And then we must try and keep the arrow still. Because the sand was way over there. Let's just go back to the pole quickly. Okay, there's the pole. The pole was inside the mud. It's going to be difficult to explain it, but anyway. Right, now we're looking towards St. Lucia Town. Skibo Club is on the right hand side of the view. And we're going to pan 
this used to be right where the Funhouse boat crews used to run us in the morning. Look at all the sediment build up. This is incredible. I'll try and, and create a line from the top of the dune. Phew. That's the last time that I was here. Three months. We came with the, here with your eyes. Now this is busy moving towards the bridge and I guess it will reach the ski boat club by 2025 December 2024 January 2025 if we don't do something about it now Waterways used to be tidal channels that helped with the scouring effect but they now also clogged up Used to be right amongst the reeds and the mud and um, it was about 1.6 meters above the ground we used to stand over there 75 meters away on the verge of the mud of the sand so that verge you see over there now used to be 75 meters from the pole to the east and we used to video the fish eagles that come and sit there in the morning and that was about two years ago definitely we can say that the sediment moves about 75 meters a year westerly into the estuary wow gonna show you how the much this pivoted with on the bend and it's parallel to the north interesting phenomenon happening here is the ocean suction wind blown how does this depression create itself here just south of the boardwalk entrance very 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 interesting leeward side of this dunes yeah so it can be staffed of windborne sediment and then the windborne sediment has been taken from there to grow onto those dunes over there. So it can be wind blown. Oh, it's pretty much run completely empty with low tide, no tidal interaction. A lot of baby crabs. Let's see if we can find some fiddler crabs. Ah, there's baby fiddler crabs and female, male and female fiddler crabs. Yeah, the tidal channel that um, these fiddler crabs are on, there's thousands of them. New ones, the other ones has now disappeared. This is new ones that spawned. It's the first morning on the way back that we've got such a beautiful ear candy. The feather folk frolicking here at the boardwalk. Here we've got a hinchback tortoise in the road. I'm just gonna usher it off the road, man. Hinchback tortoise, we're ushering it off the road. Don't want to pick it up because then we will spoil its drinking water that it carries with it.